So we have a product here called uh, Eligu R3. So the company called Eligu approached me to review this product. I believe this is uh, version 3.0. This is most updated version. So the older version actually has CD, so you have to install it manually. But I believe this one you could connect online or your smartphone and then do it directly. So that's very good. So just to explain to you, the company called Eligu, I believe they provide all these components for building robotics and toys. And uh, this comes with Arduino processor. So my understanding of Arduino is almost like a calculator, simplified computer system, where if you command A, it will react to A and it's very easy to program it. So it's very good for educational purpose. And I believe this robot, as you can see for the cartoon as well, is for kids, robotics, educational system robots. So I hope this will this video will be appealing for those who are interested by it. Well, as I'm just gonna make a quick comparison. So we've got here Zoomy that I reviewed a while ago. This actually has Raspberry Pi. You know that Raspberry Pi is more like you can use it literally as a computer PC. And yet in fact, it's very impact. You know, it's a small uh, processor that you can actually fit into this size of a robot. And we got lastly Vector here, which has a Qualcomm Snapdragon, which we all know that that's like applied to all these really clever smartphone and yet it's very compact. So you can see that I think it's a head side of Vector actually has the Qualcomm uh, chip. Uh, inside it but anyway I'm not an expert on it but just to explain to you this will be very easy to build I think <laughs> I need to build it um, but also it has an Arduino just to explain to you and it will be very good fantastic for kids who are into robotics so it'll be a good start for educational purpose anyway so let's get on to the unboxing so here it goes okay so open up the lid <sighs> we got the assembly tutorial which I will quickly skip through that you guys can actually pause and have a look on the details of how it can be built, how simple it is. Looks pretty simple. I mean, compared to the Gundam that I built. Ah, look at that. That's very clever. Robot eyes, infrared. So I presume you can actually customize it if you have all the knowledge. Simple, but yet similar to Zoomy, the way how it's built. It actually, I'm really looking forward to it. The way how it's demonstrated is quite professionally done. Oh, remote control as well. And I do believe there's this tape that you could put on the floor that it will track as well. So this is the app. And on the smallest left-hand side top box, we got all the God knows what these are. I'm sure they're all in the... That's quite cool. I have a feeling that the lens are gonna go in there. So all the screwdrivers as well is inside. Now these are just pretty much all the screws. There are plenty of screws that you can yeah, wiring as well. So I don't know whether you're supposed to separate these box individually so that you can distinguish it, but this looks like the, it has a bit of a weight battery. Another screw and um, that's the first one. So let's move along to the second one. Ah, look at that, that's so cool. So that's the infrared eye. All these um, chips, main processors, I presume. Which one is the Arduino processor? Maybe there's apparently, I think, I think this is the Arduino. Yeah, it is. Look at that. The great Arduino system. We'll get into that in more details later on. And um, there's a remote control. Uh, that's the cable that you can apparently connect to your PC to be able to, up it's a USB to USB, it's very useful, very good. Um, 
back of oh, these are the motors for the wheels and the wheel and finally I believe on the bottom of it we got the main board or the body it's not coming out that apparently you got to peel off the sticker to be able to install it okay so these are the A a. Okay, so it comes with the IR remote control, so you can actually manually control this uh, robot. So here it goes. Let's go forward, backwards a bit. Okay, and then you can rotate left and right and go forward and backwards. Okay, so that's for mode one. Right, if you go for mode two, it will automatically detect the obstacles and move around automatically. So here it goes. That's quite cool. Stop. That's quite cool, isn't it? Let's <laughs> keep thinking. Oh, come on. Very good. Oh, collision. It's quite clever, isn't it? Oh, where are you going? Come on. Right, so this robot actually has sensor in the bottom as well, so it will be able to detect the PVC black line on the bottom. So let's get on with it. That's quite cool. Look at that. Very clever robot. It's quite fascinating, isn't it? Right, the other thing you can do is download the Elegoo um, BLE tool. So if you download that. Okay, so that's all installed. Let's open it up. So you gotta allow all of those things, I presume. And it's installing. So I hope it's all good to go. Smart robot car. Yeah, elego.com to download the latest tutorial. Yes, okay. So pretty simplified. Um, you can actually remote control um, left, right, RC with the, uh, the controller. Much better than the um, IR remote control, I would say. This is the automated one. Um, stop, please come back. And the last one here is same, well if you can look at it, it means I follow that black tape that we just laid on early on. So those are the main functions you can do. Now if you go to the app, there's robot controller that we just played early on and there's program here and this is quite clever. You got motion, voice and light, control, sensing, math and um, variety. So I think you can actually, they're, they're on a development at the moment, but they'll be able to program it so that if you voice command it, you'll be able to move this robot as well and light and all these sort of um, fancy controls. So that looks really interesting, people. And lastly, you can do Bluetooth control, which I'm trying to figure out. But if you press the button, you can actually name it, character and all these message and you can change colors as well. So it's more than what actually I would say there's a lot of things that you can play around with, which is really simplified as well. So that's about it, people. So this is 
as I said, under 50 pounds, but very good value. It is all exposed, kind of mechanical. So you get the feel of what's going inside and all these LED lights that's flashing as well, which is quite cool. Um, so comparing to the size of Vector and Zoomi, it's much bigger and um, it's more robust as well. So yeah, I'm quite happy I play around with it. So yeah, I hope that clarified what this does and how difficult it is to make. I, I find it quite pretty simple to assemble. I, I made a bit of boo-boo in the middle, but it was quite easy to rectify it. Um, anyway, so I hope this explained what's going on with this robot. If you have any other queries that you want to find out more about it, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.